when you try to understand the air pressure application of a, a chassis or a, a, a container, start from a simple inlet, that is it, and that is the blue. Just a, a traditional, the red is for the emergency and the blue for the surface. Let's say here is the emergency and here is the surface. Go behind, here is the red, here is the blue. So you have a bundle, two hoses, red and the blue, you are going to follow them all the way to the back. The black bundle, the black hose, this is the bundle of wires that comes here. It takes, remember, this is seven knobs. Each one of these knobs, the electric contacts, apply to a certain uh, lights in the back. Brake lights, uh, right signal, left signal, uh, flashers, license plate, every, and the ABS. Everything, all the seven lights in the back, these seven wires are bundled in this black, black uh, bundle. And the other two, the blue and the red, are the airlines. If you follow the airlines from here, right here, you will not branch until you get to the very end of the chassis. Yeah, you can see them from the other side clearly. So when they come here, this is this is the first junction they have with the constant with the fixed two lines, these two lines. So the, this is your red emergency, and this is the surface that comes from the tractor. You follow them go into this distributor. This distributor is a cheap stuff. It does the emergency and the surface distribution of air pressure in a cheap fashion. Cheap which means instead of using two distributors they use one. So you got, you got the, the red and the blue. You got in here. Here is the red and the blue. They enter this distributor one from this side, one from the other. So this is the emergency and this is surface. And the distributor is a split at the bottom. If you look at the bottom, you have four lines coming out from the bottom. At the top, you have four lines. One, two of them, one of this half of it is emergency, the other half is for the surface. Right. And the, uh, that distributor will surface the four drums. This drum requires red and the blue. This drum requires red and the blue. This drum requires red and the blue. And this drum requ requires red and the blue. So you need eight lines to apply the surface and the emergency. They make them cheap here, so they make them, they made them six instead of eight by making the if you look at here, they try to reduce the lines. They make this single line supply both drums. Is that a good idea? Uh, well, it is not a good idea because if you have a failure on one side, it's going to affect the other side. It's going to not be applied that in the front. And that air tank take the inlet from here, it is just a, a reservoir in case of uh, the tractor is separated, it gives you a few minutes to apply to engage the brakes before, before you have an acute abrupt braking while driving. So they try to save money on the distributor, they make a one distributor serves all the four wheels. The same idea here in the in the wheels. These are tube tube uh, tires, which means you have tubes inside. These are split trim, 
sind wir raus und sagen, wo das Split drin ist. Das ist das Split Ring, der Green One im Zeit. Das ist das Split Ring. Das Split Ring will keep. It has a split right here. Look at the side here. Split on this side. It keeps the. Uh, it puts the half rim on the. Uh, what do you call it? The separator. That part in the middle. And it has tube inside, which means if you have a flat on the highway, this is a nightmare to change when you drive. Both, all these wheels are split rim, split ring, and they have tubes inside them. So when you drive behind the truck, you, you, you see them, you see them, you look at here, they look like donuts. They bounce from one side to the other. They are very good on the dirt. If you look at this, the wheels, those are not, these are tubeless. And the, the rim is not a split, it's a full rim. Uh, bolted or screwed on the studs by nuts. Here, it is uh, it's screwed in a different fashion. It has also nuts, but the nuts, are here. if you look at here, you have 10 nuts, here you have only 5. With that, with that radial 5 star party. This is a very old chassis. And it has only one bin on each side. It's connected, as you see here, with the does not have, this is the only retention spring it has. What, what you call it, an, a stretch string or an extension st uh, spring. Extension, which means if you move this way, it tries to get you back, but it doesn't have any other spring inside. And you have one bin here, and one bin here, and you have uh, this junction that activates the two bins, and this junction that uh, it's activated by pulling the car outside. If you look at the bins here. That's all that secures the tandem, the lower chassis, this chassis, that chassis. If you look from inside here, you can tell which chassis is which chassis. You have one chassis here inside. This is a frame. And you have another chest here outside. This is a frame of the tandem, the wheels. Right here. And this is a frame of the, the entire chest that carries the container.